everybody. Welcome back to the farm. Today we're delivering the chicken house slat mover to Mr. Gordon Bryant. Fixing to get on I-95 and heading further into North Carolina to Gordon's farm. Come along and check it out with us today. How about that, y'all? Brings them right out to you. That's pretty cool, Mr. Gordon. Put them here. Need to stack them yeah, up. We put them in stacks of six, and then put them. Uh, put them on on the pallet. Oh man, that's pretty neat. About how long does it take you to do all these eggs at a time when you run it like that? We generally start about 4.30 in the morning running them on this time, and we're generally done by 8, 8.30, 9 o'clock, about four hours. About four hours to run all the eggs out. So each one of the houses have two conveyors like that. So there'll be another person over here catching eggs on this side. Very cool setup, Mr. Gordon. All right, so- You want me to put the lights on or something? So this house here is cleaned and well, waiting to put a new load of birds in. Right. No, this, this, this was waiting on birds. And how long is this house? 500 foot. 500 foot. About 42 foot wide. 42 foot wide. And about how many birds go in a house this size? Uh, they'll put this a smidgen under 15,000. Just a smidgen under 15,000. Man, this um, bed or whatever this is, is soft. Yeah, sawdust. Sawdust. See a lot better now. It's lit up yeah, right I, here. I put them. I go put the lights on. No, no, no. It's good here. It's plenty good here. And that's the watering yeah, that's little that. trays that drop. That it's adjustable height, ain't it? Yes. Sir. And them two lines there is the feed lines. Okay. And this is the boxes that they lay in. Yes. Sir. And then the egg just rolls out the little back trap door. Mm -hmm. And then that's where that conveyor is. Like we seen the eggs that's coming it. off of a while ago. And this is the slats that we built that thing to move. And that, that's, that's the slats over there that you'll be moving, right? And everything in here lifts up out of the way. Good deal, Mr. Gordon. Well, I sure appreciate you showing us all this. And now I reckon it's time we can go out there and see if the slat mover is going to work. <laughs> Here's this case SR160 skid steer, skid loader that we made the attachment for. We're fixing to see if we can, if what we made fits and functions proper. making a few changes on the hydraulic hoses so it'll hook up to the skid steer and try to be about the right length so we don't have a bunch of slack wrapped up and everything. But we'll be back in just a few minutes.
see if we can pick up a slant. Chicken house slat move. I think that's going to do it, guys and gals, for the homemade chicken house slat mover. We delivered it, put it on. It works good. After we seen it work, then I put the logo on it. I wasn't going to put the name on it until we seen it work or not. But I appreciate y'all watching and following us along on this project. And a big thank you to Mr. Gordon Bright for letting us build it and put it together for him appreciate y'all watching have a good one